Hey there and welcome to the dev channel, Max Codes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can quickly and easily build out this login layout with storyboards, all right? Now, the reason I'm showing you with storyboards is so that you can at least get a default understanding of storyboards, even though I tend to never use them, right? I don't use them. I know Brian over at Build That App doesn't use them. I think Sean uses them, but I don't, I don't use them, okay? Now, a lot of companies do use them. That's why you need to have an understanding of it, okay? That's why I have learned storyboards, not because I'm ever gonna use it in my own projects, but because I know wherever I work, they might use it, okay? So it's good to have a default understanding of it, and I'm gonna continue making a few videos on it every now and then just because of that, okay? So we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna have an image up here. This is supposed to be like a logo, but I just picked one off my desktop. But yeah, before ta without talking about it way too much, let's just go ahead and boot up a new Xcode project, and let's get started with it, okay? So let's select single view app. I'm gonna call this uh, simple, simple login screen, okay? Go ahead and create that project, and then I'm just going to basically size everything so that everything's in the right place, and then we can kind of get started, okay? So just stand by for a second. Get your project get your project uh, up and running, okay? So I'm just gonna drag this over, all right? And then I'll put my face in the bottom right. All right, now that I've talked about that too much, let's just go ahead and set a background color inside of our view did load. View.backgroundcolor is equal to dot yellow just to ensure everything's booted up it should be working but i always like to do that just to ensure everything's where it should be okay all right so it looks like it booted up it's going to be yellow very clearly and let's go ahead and let's see it's not on the screen yet what the heck whatever it's going to be there let's go ahead and get rid of the background color and then we should be good to go okay all right, there it is. Next thing we want to do is we want to head over to our main.storyboard and start putting our UI stack views on the screen, okay? All right, so once we're in main.storyboard, what you want to do is click on this little square icon up here next to our other icons, and that's going to give us a list of all our views, okay? This might be somewhere else on the screen for you, but basically what we're going to want to do is type in UI stack view or just stack view, and you're going to want to select the vertical stack view and you're just gonna to wanna to drag this into our storyboard, okay, our main.storyboard. Next thing we need to do is constrain it to the screen, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Go ahead and hit Add New Constraints down here at the bottom, the little TIE Fighter looking thing. And then you're just gonna to wanna to select all these little lines here and set them all to zero so that it constrains the UI stack view to our storyboard, okay? Now, I'm gonna change these values in just a second, but I wanna show you how to do that a different way, okay? Like, what we wanna do is we really want to inset this from the left and right. Oops, it went away. We wanna inset it from the left and right to 40, okay? I'm gonna reselect those because I accidentally deselected it or it deselected it. But ideally, we want the numbers on the left and right to be 40 so that it's inset a bit because you'll see that it is there. Now, feel free to do that, but I'm gonna show you how to do it another way so that I can give you more value, okay? So go ahead and hit add four constraints. It's constrained there, but now what we wanna do is we wanna constrain it to the left and right 40 more in, right? Like our password, our email, and our image there is constrained in like that, okay? So what we wanna do is we want to go over to our constraints here I swear I get so many notifications whenever I whenever I freaking am recording. But yeah, go ahead and select trailing and leading. And then go ahead and select this item here, this little carrot. And then once you have those both selected by hitting command and picking both of those, you just wanna change the constant to 40 and it'll go in. Now, if you only got one of those to go into 40, you're just gonna to wanna to select leading and change it to 40 and then select trailing and change it to 40. Just make sure everything's in set 40, okay? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in the, we'll throw in the image right now, okay? So let's go ahead and select an image view from this little menu here. We'll say image view, displays a single image or an animation described by a blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter, we know what it does, right? All right, image view. Next thing we wanna do is put an image in there. So I'm gonna select an image off my desktop just like the first one that is on there, which is the one I used in this video, you'll see that I have some of my course covers that are linked in the description here, specifically the table one, table view one here is here. And obviously I'm glad that I'm using that image because it plugs my course a bit, but you know, <laughs> I'm just gonna use that image because it's there. Like ideally what you'd put is a logo, right? You wouldn't put a freaking image like that. I'm gonna select background, 
Okay, I put that into my assets folder and I've selected that image now after clicking on the image view and selecting up here in the carrot menu image. And then now what we need to do is we need to change the content mode to aspect fit so that it, it fits everything inside, but it doesn't cut anything off. Okay, so aspect fit and the ratio is the same. Now it's a little too high. So let's give some constraints to our image view by selecting this little carrot or this uh, TIE fighter looking icon down here right there and saying that the height needs to be activated and be 200. And then let's go ahead and just add one constraint. And then we get all these bugs, right? We'll worry about that in a second. But first thing we need to do in order to kind of fix this, let's actually, yeah, let's leave it for a second and let's do this, okay? This is why I hate these things, storyboards. What we need to do is we need to select our stack view here and change our distribution to fill equally okay we'll modify it we'll move it around to both okay and you'll see nothing really happens and it's because we don't have any other views on the screen so i'm going to change the stack view distribution back to fill and then let's go ahead and add our text fields in there because you'll see i can type in these and our, our titles in there and then we'll we'll modify these constraints and get that all fixed okay so what i want you to do is i want you to go to here and let's select another stack view because we're going to put the title and the text view inside of their own stack views. Okay. Go ahead and drag that onto the screen and just make sure it's below or make sure it's in the stack view. So drag it into the stack view. And then we want the image to be above it. So just make sure that the image is above it and you'll see it fixes it. Okay. So let's go ahead and you'll even see that the red lines are gone. Okay. So it really was just the distribution. We just needed another item in there because we set the height of the image to 200, which couldn't fill up the entire stack view, which is the height of the screen. And that's what the stack view was trying to do. Okay. So that's why that fixes that because now this, the secondary stack view is taking up the rest of the space. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's drag in a label and a text view into that label. And then let's grab a text field and drag that into there as well. And then now we have the text view and the label. Now the text view is way too big, right? So what we need to do is kind of set a default height on the stack view within our stack view. So this stack view that has the label and the rounded text field. So let's go ahead and select that and let's select height. And let's just say that it needs a default height of 80. Go ahead and select aspect ratio as well and hit add to constraints. Okay. I made a mistake. Go ahead and hit command Z to get rid of those constraints. And we're back to this. Okay. What I want to do is change the height of purely just the, st the, uh, text field itself. But before we do that, let's just add in the secondary text field. Cause we need the other one in there too, the password, right? So let's change the label to email up here. You'll see in the carrot menu, we can change the text, change that to email, then select the rounded text field here. And let's change the placeholder text up here to enter email. And let's go ahead and now let's copy this stack view in here twice. Okay. Or one more time. So let's hit, let's grab the stack view. I'm going to select alt. I'm going to hold alt on the computer. So, or option, the alt option key, and I'm just going to drag it to duplicate it. Okay. And that duplicates it. Now what we can do is open up the secondary one and we can say that the text in here is password. And then on the text field that's in here, we can say enter password. Okay. So again, it's still not really spaced very well or like it's not filled very well. Like the views are this email one is way too high, obviously. So what we're going to do is select the stack view here, the entire stack view, which the image is into, and we're going to select distribution and we're going to say fill, we're going to say equal spacing. And you'll see that kind of fixes our problem. Okay. Except for things are still not really where they need to be. Okay. So what I want to do is take the sec, the stack view inside of here, the email one, the email stack view. And I want to select the tie fighter right here and let's select this top constraint and let's just set it to 20 and then hit add one constraint that will pull it to the top of the image view. And then we have this problem where we're getting these red ones. Don't worry about that yet. Let's go ahead and let's grab the stack view again and let's give it a height anchor. So let's add that again. Let's say height is 80. And then you'll see that kind of fixes things a little bit, except for the email still way too big. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to select the stack view again, and let's choose spacing this time on the carrot menu and select 30 or let's say 20. And you'll see that gives us a little space and it makes our, our text field a little bit 
smaller, okay? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 25 for spacing, okay? Next thing I wanna do is I want to do that same thing to our stack view right here, except for it's gonna cause a little bit of problems because that's the one that's taking up the rest of the space. So as soon as we add these, we're gonna have more problems and we'll have to add in our login button to fix those. Let's go ahead and hit the TIE Fighter and let's say that it belongs up 20 and go ahead and select that. And then let's say that the height is 80. I think that's what we did on the other one. And then let's select add two constraints, okay? And I said that it would kind of mess it up, but it's it's not as messed up as I thought it would be. Let's go ahead and select it again. And let's say spacing is 25 so that it matches our other one. You can now see that they're really matching together, right? All we need to do now is add in the login button and somehow get it to take up most of the space. We can do this by selecting this button up here and adding in a view, just a default UI view, type in UI view and select view and throw that underneath. Okay, let's see, I didn't move it. Let's throw it underneath our stack view, password stack view, okay? And you'll see it's now in there. Make sure it's not inside of the stack view, make sure it's within the, the parent stack view. And that takes up the remaining space now, okay? And that looks really good, but we still need that login button. So let's go ahead and select this one more time and say button, and let's drag a button in there. And then let's center everything by selecting the TIE Fighter and basically just saying top, bottom, left and right. And then let's see. Well, we don't wanna do that. What we wanna do is let's deselect those. And what I actually wanna do is I just wanna set the height to let's say 40, and then I wanna set the width we won't even set the width. What we'll do is we'll select left and right and we'll say 40 on those, okay? Or we'll say, yeah, I'll say 40. That way it's inset kind of 80 because the entire view is inset. So just make sure it looks like that. Left, right, 40, 40. Don't select the top and bottom and then set the height to 40 and then hit add three constraints. Okay, now we got a problem, but don't worry. We're gonna fix that after we make this button look a little bit better. Let's go ahead and go to the properties of the button. And let's say that the background at the very bottom of the colors here is something like gold, right? It doesn't really matter what color you do. I just want to do a different one. Okay, so I'm going to do yellow. And then we want to change the text color to something that complements it, okay? So if you're doing yellow, I don't know what would look really great in yellow, maybe black. And that would be good, okay? And then what we can do is we can fix this problem here, okay? Let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's select the TIE Fighter. And then what I wanna do is I want to hit the top one here and let's just say 80. Go ahead and hit add constraint and it's gonna add that constraint and it's gonna look really good. Let's go ahead now and compile our application for the first time. I probably should have compiled it a few times as we were going, but let's compile it and you're gonna see now that it's complete and that's how you build a simple kind of login screen with programmatic auto layout or not programmatic auto layout, storyboards or interface builder. Now, before you go, just know that obviously you can mess around with this and make the values whatever you want to make it look however you want. I really just wanted to kind of give you a basic introduction to the concept so that you can go ahead and modify that. It's kind of like changing the color. You know what color you want to change it to, right? Or you go get a design for that. I'm here just to show you how to program it all basically. All right, so what you want to do is basically just get good at programmatic auto layout like in my courses and you also want to get good at storyboards. You really just want to get good at both and then use whatever you want for your own apps. And then for like client or not even like for client apps, you can use programmatic auto layout if you want, it's your choice. But if you ever work on a dev team, it's likely that they're gonna use storyboards a bit. And um, it's not entirely likely, but it's likely. So you wanna know how to use storyboards, okay? And it actually does make things a little bit easier sometimes. Like we don't, we now don't have to write all this code for this, right? It's just there. But it is easier, I think, to write the code. It just takes a little bit longer. Okay, well, that's it in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was valuable. I know it's really basic. I know I've been providing a lot of basic content on here, but I'm really just trying to get a lot of stuff on the channel. And then I'm going to start diving into the more advanced stuff because I need to basically just get a lot of content that I can create first. It takes a lot of time to record these videos and make these videos, but I hope you're enjoying the content. Please leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you wanna see. Tweet me on Twitter. And again, my courses are in the description if you wanna check them out. I honestly don't care, like you don't have to, but I, I just want views on YouTube, right? So I'll see you all in future videos.